We're back, folks. Artist Till Death Studios. Soon we'll get us a mic or a little bit better camera. But for now, stick with the GoPro. Uh, what you want to do, pretty much on any canvas, depending on what you want to achieve with it. If you want it smooth, if you want it textured, if you want it uh, a little more stiff. Eh. You can come up Tots. with a better thing. Um, is a good thing. If you want to airbrush on it, this is a perfect way to smooth out a canvas. Or if you want to do a resin pour, um, this really helps it to not gather in the center. Although we haven't, I don't think we've ever done a pour this big, so I'm not sure if it, if it uh, gathers in the middle, but it definitely stiffens it up. It's a little more rigid, flat, and a little smoother for when, if you want to airbrush on it. Or do a portrait or any kind of other painting if you want it smooth. Basically always for every canvas. So what you want to do, take it out of the wrapper. Use, I use 220, you can use 200. Whatever, to start, to knock off the, the uh, whatever gesso they put on there. Um, you just kind of want to go over it, and you, know, you can you can feel it. You don't have to press too hard because you don't want to you don't want to stretch it. You don't want to go through the gesso and hit like fibers. Sometimes these canvases are made poorly. We, we prefer the gallery wrap. Let me show you. The gallery wrap, like you can see, it's, it's kind of hovering. It doesn't really touch. With a regular canvas, it's pretty much touching. And when you sand it, it'll, you'll get a line, and you'll get this line too, down the center. And when with the gallery wrap, you get zero zero lines, zero uh, sanding marks. Knock off the little texture that's on there. And we've been using house paint, but I have some gesso that I bought for a, a gig that never happened in Vegas. <laughs> so, not gonna ever get over it. Um, you can use house paint, just regular old flat, <clears throat> uh, flat white, or whatever color. You can use black if you like to paint on a black canvas. We use flat and then tint it if you want. You can put color in it to tint it. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this gesso. And I would definitely put it on in sections because it dries pretty fast. And it's no fun when it starts to skip around. put a little water in it, water it down, make it go smoother, but this covers pretty good. Don't have to worry about it. And it fills in the spots that their gesso doesn't. Hair out, you can if there's hair or dust or lint. 
And while you're waiting for it to dry, take your brush, get a Ziploc bag, so you don't have to wash it out. Put it in the bag so it doesn't dry out. Hair dryer to make a drying process go faster. This part will be fast forwarded so you don't hear it. Stop here if you wanted. Um, if you want a little texture, and and it's it's still smooth, but you can definitely feel the gesso. Um, or you can take your 220 again uh, and hit it over again, one more time over. And if you really want to get it smooth, you can take a 400 and sand that as well. And that will get it super smooth and you could be done. Or you can put another coat of gesso, which I like to put another coat of gesso because I do a lot of scratching and erasing when I do a portrait. And this is pretty much gonna be a portrait of a bird and some skulls. So I'm gonna sand it with this and this and put another coat of gesso. You don't have to go over it as much because the gesso, it's, it's pretty light and you don't want to scrape off too much of the gesso you just put on. So, just do it a little. You put your hand to hold it so it gives it an even, you don't want to sit here you know, and do it like this, push down, you'll definitely scrape off more than you want. So, even four fingers out. So, I'm just gonna put a second coat of gesso on. Do your normal, like you did last time, a section at a time. That way you won't miss where you, and you can feel it goes on a little bit smoother than last time. A little bit easier to work with, Get your sides. You definitely gonna wanna try to blend you don't really want a line, so you kind of go over where you've already done it, so you kind of blend it all in. You gotta do this all kind of fast because it dries a lot faster. You'll start to get little lines, texture in your canvas, you do not want that. Let dry, sand, and I will be right back. So to recap, what you need is a black foam brush. So that's like a two inch. Your basic acrylic gesso, or you can use house paint, flat latex house paint. Works just as good. Um, a what is this here a 220 to start off sandpaper remember grip it get a little more coverage of sandpaper smoother and if you want to go smoother you can use a 400 not a problem so i hope this helps you guys out and prepping a canvas to airbrush or paint or do a pour on and that's about it
Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. Let's do it.